Yo, yo, YouTube, what's crack a lack of jacket smack, and it's Waffle Man for video. And as you can see from the poll, you guys picked Pure Slasher, as I expected. Second was uh, Pure Poll Score. But I'm gonna make this build a shooting guard 6'6, six, six, like the build that dominated me. I versus this guy a few months ago, if you guys remember, and he just dominated me for Pure Slasher. And he told me he was 6'6, six, six, about, I think, 220 pounds. So I'm gonna make the same slasher he made. Uh, you know, 6'6, six, six, max wingspan, 220 pounds. And I'ma see how this build plays, man. Uh, I was just finishing playing my athletic finisher on the park. And I must say that shit was kinda trash. Now the athletic finisher is still a beast build, of course, but I just played 2K on the park, man. And I, listen, the athletic finisher be inconsistent sometimes, man, because sometimes. You be missing driving layups, man. Even though I have Hall of Fame with his finisher, you be missing driving layups even though it's only at an 89. You be missing some layups, man. And sometimes it's like, well, I'm not trying to take a layup. I want this nigga to dunk the ball, and he doesn't dunk the ball. And I see all these small guards, 6'6", 6'4", 6'5", you know, even 6'7", dunking on mad niggas. And I'm like, well, well, wait a minute. So my, my athletic finisher is just going to be taking these layups. And missing these layups, man, when he should be dunking the ball, especially on stretch bigs and other small players. And I'm like, all right, man. So hopefully this uh, this freaking slasher is really athletic and can really dunk. As you can see, the main badges we got, pole strides, we got to get that Hall of Fame. I mean, probably not. Uh, Red Lennon Sprinter main badge, of course. One minute fast break. Tear Dropper. I'm really going to test out Tear Dropper with this build. I'm going to be doing a lot of Tear Droppers because... You know, 2K18, the teardropper wasn't really working that well. And I hope that maybe for this pure slasher, maybe it works better, man. But for the stats, layups, uh, driving layup 99, shot close 99, standing layup 99. So this man, if this man has Hall of Fame with Lennon's finisher and a 99 driving layup, plus I, I have, I'm 220 pounds, man. I mean, think about it, a 220 pound shooting guard? 220 pound shooting guard that's pretty heavy that's pretty buff that's you got some girth right right there you know what i'm saying so shot close 99 i'm gonna test out that shot close of 99 driving dunk also a 99 standing dunk is actually an 87 which is very close to a 90 now contact dunk of course is a 99 but think about it i was 66 a shooting guard and i have a standing dunk of an 87 now if i made this build 67 I think my standing dunk would have been over a 90, but I wanted to get more speed, so standing dunk is still pretty good. Now, mid-range, of course, it's a 63 open shot mid. Of course, we still got four more bars remaining, but this mid-range is better than my lockdown defender, so if I can hit mid with my lockdown defender, I should be fine with this build. Same thing with the three-point. 54 is pretty bad, but, you know, a lot of people used it back in 2K17, and it wasn't that bad. Ball handling pretty terrible speed with ball only at 68 but i am a shooting guard so i don't really mind passing of course i never really cared about passing never really cared about post offense rebounding 68 steel is a 72 blocks shot contest 68 not the greatest vertical which is very important right now is at 86 i got two more bars left hopefully that's what i get next lateral quickness only at 68 now speed is also important my speed is only at 85 right now but I think the max speed on this build might be able to reach an 80 or not 80, 90, excuse me. So hopefully I get a couple balls before, you know, I, I end, finish making this build. Acceleration 84, strength is a 64, and stamina is a 96. So the best attributes of this build is obviously the layups and the dunks. Uh, vertical is pretty good. Speed is not bad at an 85. I mean, my lockdown defender speed at 67 is what? 85 right now so i i guess right as of right now it's not that bad for a shooting guard especially if i'm going to be taking on you know pure sharpshooters and i got 6'6 six, six. i'm 6'6 six, six, got max you know wingspan 220 pounds it's going to be a pretty good defender now i'm not gonna upgrade this man right now because i only have 60k vc and i'm not really trying to spend vc so i'm gonna save that for probably a couple days or probably this weekend where if i can find a way to get some vc on the cheap but yeah, man, those are the stats, 99 layup, 99 dunk, pretty cool, man, pretty, it's gonna be pretty sick, man, because 2K17, you never had a 99 driving layup, 
But this build, I have a 99 driving dunk, contact dunk, driving layup, standing layup, and shot close as opposed to my athletic finisher, man. So, anyways, man, leave a like for more. I'm out for now. Peace.